The right care and support can be life-affirming, enabling us to take positive steps for ourselves or supporting others to live their own lives to the full. But what does the right care and support mean? I think care and support basically is to help the individual and what the individual actually needs. The first thing you have to do is to plan to ask the person whose life is going to be driving this what it is that they want. Oh, it's very important to me to be able to be independent in my own house rather than a nursing home. The religious and spiritual needs are very important. Care and support means that my life is a lot more amenable. It takes away the stress and the worry of what I have to do all the time. Care and support is about enabling people to have um, a good life, to live as a citizen in the community. Um, once I've discovered that I could get support myself, I suppose it gave me more strength. It gave me a lifeline. It gave me a chance to get my life back. Many people now use the system of direct payments and personal budgets to choose what sort of support suits their own needs, allowing them to tailor it as and when they need it. I'm Tom Cowan. You can come in. The kind of support that Tom has is support as a citizen rather than somebody in need because it means that Tom's support is entirely Tom-centred. Who am I, Tom? That's Matt Derrick. He's my PA. We were almost left with no alternative but to um, take a personal budget. But it's probably the best thing that we did. Recruiting the right personal assistance is um, absolutely crucial to um, the success of um, Tom's arrangements. And I would say that, that you need to be really creative about how you recruit. Um, for example, Tom organises music gigs, so we wanted to have a, a, a PA who uh, was a musician, so we advertised in the university music department. You know, if you want somebody to support somebody to do gardening, don't look for a carer. Look for a gardener who's passionate about their gardening, but also passionate about people and able to share their skills um, with, with somebody else who's keen to learn. I suppose my primary uh, support is uh, supporting Tom to uh, work, supporting Tom, I suppose, in the community. And yeah, I'm just a, a comfortable reinforcement, just so Tom can do all the things that uh, he wants to do. I'm just there to enable the things that he knows he can do, but maybe for reasons of anxiety, he, uh, he might not want to do at the time. Tom has a very fulfilling life. He enjoys lots of things. Um, he loves people, so anything uh, around people is, is good for Tom. And he also does uh, contributes um, as a volunteer uh, in a local gallery at Bar Lane. To be able to find people who, um, who enjoy his company as much as he enjoys theirs has been so, so positive for him. Good care and support can also help us face many other challenges in our lives our mental health and well-being, difficult adolescence, drug and alcohol dependency, and of course to support ourselves as carers. I'm Maria Shuttleworth. I live with my wonderful husband, Ron, who has Alzheimer's disease. And life has changed, but that doesn't matter. You've still got to keep going and enjoy what we've got to do together. Initially, Ron would do everything on his own, but because it's changed, I now have to be here 24-7. And um, in order for me to go out, I need to have someone to come in to be with him. He may be all right for a couple of hours, but we can't do a lot in a couple of hours. And I do uh, access care. I take him to a day centre, and I take Ron to the day centre about quarter to ten, ten o'clock, and it gives me a whole day when I know there's these lovely people looking after him. He's having a good meal, he sits in a lovely table with all the men, and they chat on, and they do things as well. And it gives me the day's freedom to do what I want to do, and that is the day I feel like me, and I feel absolutely uplifted you know it's not that I don't love him anymore it's just that that is a day when I'm me again not just a carer 
I do think that it's taken away a lot of the worries from me. The fact that uh, I no longer have to think every day, what can I do for Ron to make his life more interesting? They're doing it for me. You know, it's made my life just a bit easier because our life has to go on as well as theirs. If you do need more support, you could choose to move to specialist housing or residential care. There are many options to choose from, including sheltered accommodation, where you can have your own home with support on hand if you need it, through to care homes or nursing homes. These can vary considerably. Be aware of the differences and make your choices carefully. And getting the right level of support to continue living in your own home is another option to consider. I'm Charmian Lovell and I live at home in my own house and I've lived here over 58 years. I am 93 and of course I could not now manage without help coming in. Uh, they come twice a day, morning and evening, half an hour, and then they also give me baths twice, twice a week. This is absolutely vital because I couldn't manage on my own without them. Good and effective support can be as simple as helping us to maintain contact with friends and family. Paul has taught me everything to do with the screen. So it means that photographs and uh, memorabilia of all sorts uh, come on the email. I would like to live here until my life ends, really, but this may not be feasible at the end, but I shall hope to do that. Good care and support should be there for our everyday needs. Paul suffered a spinal injury and hearing loss, but getting support through access to work enabled him to continue in his job and be more independent. Access to work is a, an organisation or a system where a disabled person can um, ask for assistance if they need anything to get them to work, basically. Uh, that's what I get here. I've been fortunate because I've, I've used access to work twice uh, in my life. The first time was when um, my impairment got to a point um, that I was finding was very, very tired and, and, and well, I didn't take consultants' advice who advised me to, to, to get a chair and just to take that strain away. Um, and it wasn't a realisation until I had a bad fall once that I suddenly realised that I need this thing. Um, and, and I contacted Access to Work and I said, look, told me the situation. Um, and they said, right, fine. Um, and that's how I got, I got the chair. Access to Work will say, the government will say that Access to Work is there if you want it. But it's a sort of a catch-22 system. You need to know about Access to Work to get Access to Work my work and like within the voluntary sector and different things is is for to enable disabled people to ask questions not just to say oh well i'm disabled you don't get yes you do get you know i'm disabled i can't work yes you can work um, ask is there any the right care and support will meet your unique needs and aspirations now and in the future thinking about what you want and finding out what's available is the first key step. I think you've got to consider what you actually want. I always think if you possibly can, it's worth writing down, perhaps going through a day and seeing what you actually do. There's no sort of one thing fits all. Try and source out what you need for the future. You know, you have your friends and your family, but you get sick of repeating the same story to them over and over again. And just to have someone outside the family, you know, sit down and say, I understand, you know. It's good to look for services or even to see what's out there when you're beginning to deal with things and gather information so you know that when you feel so you need support, that that support's there. And you might find something that could be quite helpful to you along the way as well. A person who requires, say, for example, daycare, he would be looking around what he can do, where he can go. Sometimes they don't know. So it's important that uh, in the community people know what is available. I always thought it was I was being weak, 
when in actual fact I was being really strong. Um, and the people who think they're weak will get a real awakening if they do fight that fear and, and go and get the help that they need. Good support should enable our sons and daughters to live a full, meaningful, inclusive and happy life. You have to feel happy about it because if you're not happy about it then it's going to worry you all day and there's no point in doing it if you're going to be worried about it. I was very content knowing that these people were caring for him in a different way to me and that was interesting as well. I think the, the impact's been huge. Um, I mean it's a double-edged sword. Um, Tom has a great life. He's really happy. He tells me he's happy. And uh, it's certainly for us as a family been well worth all the hard work. Mm -hmm.